Governor Haley Barber. He's a governor of the fine state of Mississippi. He's also former chairman of the Republican National Committee. Hey, Haley. Hey, Katie. Governor Barber, that is. Well, All ha right. Haley so was right the first time, Katie. We're, 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 we're looking for you to give us a little color and some uh, sort of straight talk in uh, a reaction, which you usually do. What did you think? Well, first of all, Katie, I have to say, as the host governor, I was really pleased with the with the way the whole thing went. Uh, the news media has loved it here. Everything has gone great. We've even had Chamber of Commerce weather, uh, and so I, I can't help but say what I think a great night it was for Mississippi. As far as the two camps are concerned, look, they're both very capable. Obama <laughs> oozes charisma. I mean, he is just charming, uh, he's very eloquent, well-spoken. McCain, on the other hand, tends to be kind of plain-spoken, uh, even to the point of just not being a very good speaker. But tonight, I don't know why, I thought McCain came across, across as strong. Uh, the word that kept coming back to me, authentic. I thought he had an authenticity as he talked about these issues because he's got clear experience more than most senators because of his life in the military, his time as a POW, and the way he has stayed involved in these issues ever since he's been in Congress. Senator Obama's clearly very knowledgeable. He's bright, bright, and extremely articulate. But I thought, I thought the strength for McCain came across in the, in the manner of authentic. You mean like John McCain was sort of the pit bull and Barack Obama was more of a greyhound, maybe? <laughs> let, let me, let well, me. I, <laughs> I wouldn't have characterized it that way, but I can't argue with it. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people were expecting really good things from John McCain. This is his strong suit. He has said probably he rues the day he did that the economy is not really his favorite topic, although I think he did well when talking about the financial bailout. But the fact that Barack Obama could hold his own with John McCain, it wasn't a clean kill, so to speak. Do you think that in some ways means Barack Obama actually won this debate? You know, actually, I don't, Katie. I, I thought what you were going to say was the first three questions were about economics. I mean, it, it, and, and appropriately, I've not been critical of Jim Lehrer, but the first three questions that were asked, about half of the questions, were questions about uh, the, the bailout program, about the world economy. Uh, and, and I thought, you know, I thought McCain, frankly, did better than, than he often does on that. Uh, and in terms of uh, foreign policy and security, I didn't think Obama did badly at all. I mean, he's a he's he's a very good talker. I mean, he's he's articulate, but uh, I don't ever expect a clean kill in a presidential debate. I really never have seen one. I guess the closest was the L.A. debate with Daddy Bush and Michael Dukakis in 1988. But that is so rare. I mean, these are talented, capable people. They wouldn't be the nominees of their party if they weren't. All right. Well, Haley Barber, thank you for your uh, hosting us and all the media here in Oxford, Mississippi. Thank you for your hospitality. And we should reiterate, you are the Republican governor of Mississippi. Haley Barber, thanks a lot, Haley. Thanks, Katie.